How would you like to add a bed to your garden that doesn't cost much to make, has a material that will never break down, and can become a focal point for your garden to showcase some of your favorite plants? Well, join me today as I show you how I make an easy stone flower bed. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and with the high cost of wood these days, I'm turning my attention to other options when I'm making beds. One of them is to make a flower bed or an herb bed or any other type of garden bed out of stone blocks that you can find just about everywhere these days. The process begins just like any garden bed in choosing a site where you want your bed and then with the intent to match your plants with the amount of sun or the amount of shade that it gets. So I've chosen this area right here. I'm going to put in some perennial flowers and other plants that I think will really make this garden area pop. So I want a circular bed in this area. So then I went to my garden center to start looking at what blocks were available. And when you go, you'll see lots of choices in different sizes and different colors, different heights, different lengths. And these are the blocks that I chose. Now I had a general idea as to the size of the bed that I wanted in this spot. But while I was at the garden center, I went ahead and took these blocks and laid them out on the ground to get a better feel for it. And I liked the way that they fit together quite closely. Now, one of the nice things about these blocks is you don't have to put them in place where they butt up close together to form a tight circle. You can expand the circle just by expanding the joint within these individual blocks. I have some mulch laid down in this area, so I'm going to go ahead and just rake aside the mulch so that I can get down to bare soil to begin this process of putting this stone bed in place. And it's most level, but I can see visually that I do need to spread the soil around a little bit. So I'm just going to do this very lightly right now. I'll come back and level in just a minute, but I'm just trying to give myself as level an area to begin with as possible. And now I'm going to just start by putting these stones in a ring. Now this is just mainly for spacing so that I can get an idea if I need to clear out any more of the mulch or spread out this circle a little bit more. And so I'm going to lay them out into the same size ring as I went ahead and did in the store. Now you could stop here after making sure that the blocks are as round as you can get them and the joints are looking pretty good. You can start putting some soil in it and planting, but all of the other beds in my garden are level, so I want this one to be level too. So I'll go ahead and just start taking some preliminary looks at this. And as I suspected when I was first clearing out the soil, this end is lower than that end. So what I'm going to do now is work on trying to get this whole space a little more level and 
I don't want to lose sight of where the blocks are, so I'll just flop them to the outside. They've already made an indentation on the soil, so I know where the ring is. And then I'll start working on leveling out this ground a little bit more. Now at this point, as you're getting the area ready for final placement of the blocks, there are a couple different things you can do. Now if you're doing this on grass, because you can do this over a lawn, you can go ahead and once you've got the basic ring figured out, come in with your shovel and dig out the grass. It's best to put the blocks on solid ground. You can put it on the grass, but It'll settle over time as the grass underneath decomposes because these blocks will smother and kill anything underneath it. If the ground is mostly level at this point, I suggest getting some sand. And you can just get bags of play sand and put the sand around the outside to help level the area. Now this soil is pretty sandy as it is. We just had a rain, so it's pretty wet right now. But because it's already sandy, I'm just moving it around. I'm moving soil from the high side down to the low side, still staying within the ring, so that I am much closer to being at that point where this ring is going to be level all the way around. And so now, going to go ahead and compact the soil on the low side where I just moved some of this loose soil. And this is still not the final step. I just want to go ahead and take a measurement of the level and have the soil as firm as possible. So now when I make a measurement, oh, that's pretty close. That's actually level. And it's a little bit off this side. So this side, this side is a little bit higher. The diagonals are off a little bit. So overall, in this direction, it's pretty level. In this direction, it's pretty level, but I've got a high side and a low side. So now I'll just come in individually and scrape away some of the soil, add it to the low side, and then I'll do the same thing. On the low side, I'll compact it. The high side, I'll compact it, and then I'll take another measurement, and that's much closer. And so that's what I'll do now, is go around individually trying to get the whole circle leveled as much as possible. And to be very precise, I actually do each individual block with a smaller level. And as I move around the circle, I use my mallet, which is often enough, or add or subtract a little bit of the sand or the sandy soil as needed. So I'm pretty happy with the overall level of this new flower bed. Now, you don't have to be as precise as me. Remember, just a simple ring of these stones is enough, but I think it looks better when it's level, and when a bed is level, you're less likely to have the soil wash out. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just mostly level. And now, it's time to go ahead and fill it with soil. And so now, it's just a simple matter of spreading the soil down 
and around all these stones. It's obviously more than I needed, so I'll go ahead and spread some out around it. It's a good amended soil, so not only can I plant in the bed, but now with this soil, I can plant around the edges too. And take the mulch and put it back around the bed as well. And when I finish with this and finish cleaning up the stones, this project will be done. I added some wood chip mulch around the edge and I think this simple bed is already making a visual impact on my garden. And once I start getting plants in, it's really going to be a focal point from my planning perspective to bring the eye into this part of the garden and break up some of the harsher, harder edges of my wooden raised beds. If you want to see other projects like this that I've done in my garden, well, I encourage you to follow along with a lot of the other videos on the Gardener Scott channel, including these right here. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.